Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back today to a brand new video. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can be notified of when new videos happen. You can also join our Discord server and know when live streams happen. And also I just wanted to say thank you for the support on this channel recently. It has been a ton. We are almost at 400 subscribers. I'm not sure if we'll be able to hit it by the new year. But we are almost there, so be great if you hit that subscribe button as well. And yeah, anyways, we're back on the hive today, but we're not going to be playing mini games today. We're going to be teaching you how you can set up a custom server. Now, I don't know how long custom servers have been out for hive, but uh, one of my uh, friends from my stream introduced me to it. So now I'm going to be teaching you how you can start your custom server, how to invite friends to it, and do all that stuff. So yeah, anyways... So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to be in a hub. You got to know what region you're in. Uh, right now I'm in the North America region. Uh, this is so that you can tell your friends which region to join so that they will be able to enter your custom server. Because if they are in Europe region and they try joining your custom server, which is in North America, obviously it's not going to work. So the first step is knowing which region you're on on the hive. Next step, you got to go into your... Uh, command thingy over here and type slash cs pretty simple command it says custom server access and management you can hit enter and now this is the custom server menu you can go ahead and either create your own server uh look through your invites for other people's servers or enter an invite code but we're going to create our own server today so we're going to go ahead and choose a game you're going to have to choose a game you can choose from uh, basically any of the games that Hive has, so you can choose Death Run. So as you can see here, I joined the server and it, jo it joins you with no one in the hub. Even if you're in a party, it will not transfer them to the server because you will have to invite them separately. So uh, now that we are in our uh, server here, you'll have a couple of options. You'll have server controls, game settings, and then you have the standard voting and blockers and hubs and stuff. But yeah, so anyways, uh, the first thing we're going to go over is the server console. So server console uh, or server controls, you can start the game, you can extend the countdown, which is the start, uh, which is the countdown that plays at the start of the game. You can reload the map votes, you can set the max players, um, the, the default, I don't know what the default max players is, I think it's like 10, but you can set it all the way up to 30 max players, but I'm just going to leave it at 20. You can also manage access, so if there's other people uh, that you want to set the server too you can feel feel free to change it so you can do friends only you can open to all so other people everyone can join it who's on the hive so you can set that you can also manage the permissions so if there's other players you want to give admin to you can feel free to do that do note that these servers only last while you're in the game once the game ends it sends you back to the public hub so you will have to create another private server for that Hopefully they make it so you don't have to like keep going in between back and forth with the public hub. Like they, they'll allow you to make your own custom hub. But for right now you can only make uh, custom servers for, per game. Anyways, uh, that's basically what you can do here. You can also kick player, stop server, obviously you just disconnects you from the server. And you get sent back to the main lobby. Next up is your game settings. Your game settings, base, th these vary on the game. But you can basically change... Uh, how many uh, deaths you can have. Uh, you can basically set like pro different properties that each game provides. Like I said, it's based on the game, so it's going to vary. But here are the uh, game modes that you can choose between for death run. And you can go into each of them and set your preference. Uh, sometimes you can do a huge preference, like you can mess around with the game. Or you can like do a lower preference. But you can also view the changes as well. Uh, so you can see which changes you made to the game previously. And uh, yeah, so that's basically what you can do so far. Hopefully they'll be adding more features because this is a development. Uh, the custom server things are in development. So hopefully we'll see some more features come in the future. 
So now for the way you invite people. Now you may be like, you went through the game settings, you went through the server controls, and I did not see how you invite players. Well, in the way you invite is a separate command. You have to go ahead and do slash invite. So now as you can see, you'll have an invite screen. It says if you invite a player, they can join the server, but they can't invite other players. So no one can invite other players but yourself. So you can go ahead and select a method. You can invite a friend. So you can uh, choose whoever is online. So you can uh, send an invitation to them, but he just left. Um, but then you'll have to type, keep typing in the command again. I'm not sure if there's a simpler way to do this, but this is how I know to do it for right now. Or you can invite per username. You can type their username out manually, and if they're in the same region as you, uh, they'll be able to be found. If not, it'll just say player not found, so that's why you want to make sure that you're in the region. Uh, you can also do by code. I'm not exactly sure how you do by code yet, so if anyone knows how to do it by code, you can feel free to put it in the comment section in case other people want to know how to do it by code. But for right now, that's how you uh, invite people via username and how you can change the different game preferences and stuff like that. So yeah, but anyways, uh, then you can just start the game as a regular game. Um, you can start the game with one player even. So you can start the game, I'm pretty sure, with as many players as you want. And uh, if you need to re reset the game, you can just go back to the hub. But like I said, if you do go back to the hub like this, it will take you back to the main public lobby where you'll have to uh, create the server again with the same command. Do the same process if you want to change the game mode you can change the game mode and do all that so yeah but anyways uh that's pretty much all there is so far for custom servers uh thanks for tuning in don't forget to like if you like so you can check out the uh, tutorials and stuff that are on this channel as well you can also uh join the discord if you uh, want to know when live streams happen live streams happen on the mainstream channel which can be found above the channel section and in the description so yeah, we'll also be uh, playing some custom servers on those streams, so you can feel free to tune into those. I'm going to try to stream at either 2pm, 4pm, or 8pm Eastern. Those are going to be the uh, three main stream times. So just check back at those three times, see if there's a stream. If there's no stream, then either come back at the next time zone, or there probably won't be a stream for the day if it doesn't happen by 8pm Eastern. So. That's how I think the schedule will work. Also, if you want, if you do watch my live streams, you can feel free to uh, leave live stream feedback. Uh, I'll link a video to that. That's on my main channel, so you can leave feedback, and I will be reading through them. So make sure you put your time into it, and don't just like say random things. So yeah. Anyways, uh, that's about it. I'll catch you all later.